Well, thanks for asking about adenomyosis. If you go to our website, you realize I think we are among the only authorities on adenomyosis. The uh, other authority uh, who's taught us is Dr. Hisio Osada from Tokyo, and he taught us and uh, he's retired from doing adenomyosis surgery now. He's still active, but with simpler cases, and he's this brilliant surgeon uh, that taught us how to do it. And uh, it's, uh, if you just go to the website, you'll see a video on it. It's an unusual operation, but we, the reason adenomyosis is so difficult compared to fibroids is fibroids or myomas just have a capsule, and the doctor can go in there and just shell it out really easily. And, and then put some stitches in, but the adenomyosis diffusely infiltrates your uterus just as though it were cancer. Now it's not cancer, but you'd think it is. I mean, it infiltrates and makes the uterus hard and not very resilient. So the operation that we would do for adenomyosis is a big one, uh, but we actually cut out all that tissue and there's no capsule uh, between one centimeter from the serosal surface and one centimeter from the uterine lining or the endometrium. We cut all that out. Then we have a lot of what we call dead space. And we fill that in with, it adds up to more than 250 individual stitches so that we close the dead space and so we won't get bleeding. And uh, then uh, the miserable, terrible periods women have with adenomyosis are gone overnight and they are instantly relieved of their pain. But more importantly, 62% uh, who would never have gotten pregnant otherwise now can get pregnant as for this uh, I call it the OSADA procedure, adenomyosis surgery. Uh, now, if it's a tiny amount of adenomyosis, we talked about that at a meeting just last December. If it's a tiny amount of adenomyosis that, and it's not causing miserable menstrual problems, then you don't need surgery and it won't prevent implantation. It's only when it becomes big and causes miserable symptoms of painful periods and long periods that that's when it interferes with uh, getting pregnant. So we wouldn't bother with a simple, small uh, degree of adenomyosis. But if it's a big adenomyosis, we have to operate to relieve you of symptoms and also to give you a pregnancy. Mm -hmm.